people made their way through downtown Minneapolis. It's a sad moment right now. They watched in disbelief. So it got to be the Drake, the Drake Hotel. A fire that started in the middle of the night while most were asleep. I looked right at the clock. It was 2.59 in the morning. Flames burst through the Francis Drake Hotel on Christmas morning with no end in sight. Because he had his flashlight on and then he turned a corner and I was, I couldn't see anything. And by that time, it was, it was just utterly engulfed. More than 200 people evacuated as the fire spread. Oh, everything's gone. Yeah, every, everything is absolutely gone. Everything. One thing that matters the most to me was my Bible that I've been having since 1996. There's people running out. People with strollers trying to get their babies down the stairs. It was chaos. That was just the beginning. Crew after crew and hour after hour, firefighters had an uphill battle. Flames aren't the only problem for firefighters and residents. Smoke has been adding to the confusion. I'm only across the street from my photographer, and it's still hard to see me. I must have gone around this building about 60 times looking for people, and we found everyone. In the end, three people were taken to the hospital. It's the only place I had to deal with. And now, for residents, reality sets in. What's next for you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still in shock. I really, I don't know. You know, by the grace of God and only His grace, we were able to get everybody out safely. Reporting in downtown Minneapolis, Ashley Zilka. We got nowhere to go. Five Eyewitness News. But we're out safely. We're alive to fight another day.